Hey guys, Forex here. Hope you're all well. What you're looking at in front of you is the Nintendo Famicom. I installed Tim Worthington's NES RGB in. As you can see, it's working perfect. Uh, now today, there's a mod I want to do uh, to the scar head. So I'll go and get that and we'll crack on with the mod. Yeah, and I've been playing a bit of DuckTales. <laughs> Now, what I want to explain is the problem I'm having with this setup like this. Uh, it's nothing wrong with this scar head and the actual connector. Uh, this thing works perfect. Uh, I just thought I'd let you know that. Um, it's more of a problem with room. Um, my TV is on the wall um, and obviously there's not much of a gap between the back of the TV and the actual wall. And with this sticking out here uh, and the actual cable going into this connector just here, uh, there's a lot of headroom you need to plug this into the back of a TV that's mounted on a wall and I don't have that headroom so what I want to do is I want to cut off the connector here I'm going to buzz it out find where everything goes uh, and then I'm going to wire it into a, a standard scar head so I've got the less RGB scar connector out uh, the actual scar head uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to spend 10-15 minutes uh, buzzing out where everything goes uh, where everything uh, where all the signals goes like the RGB the sync the plus 5 uh, audio and all that type of thing I'm just going to buzz out where it goes I've gone ahead and uh, buzzed out the connector basically on continuity checking where everything goes uh, and I've got the pin out for the actual connector and I've got the actual footprint uh, for the connector just here uh, now what I want to do now uh, is plug this end um, into the actual connector uh, and because I know where everything goes now I can chop off the opposite end uh, and then do a continuity check and work out what colour wire goes where uh, and then once I've done that I can actually wire it into the scot. What I've done is I've chopped one end off the actual cable and uh, plugged it into the scot connector just here uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my multimeter on continuity I'm going to buzz out what wire goes where and that's my video cable all buzzed out so what I'm going to do now is actually wire it into the head of the scot now a top tip <laughs> before I start soldering this on I can give you is uh, don't forget to put your lock nut of the scar um, actually on the cable because uh, trust me uh, if you solder these wires onto the scar <laughs> and you forget this uh, you're going to kick yourself I've been there and done that <laughs> so here's our 21 pin scar head connector uh, what I like to do uh, is flush cut the actual pins um, I'm not going to use uh, now there's two ways you can do that, you can just come in and take your side cutters uh, and just top, uh, cut off the actual top bit or what I like to do is actually remove the pin um, if you take a look at the actual pin here you can see there's a little bit just here like a, it's like a little sticky out bit that keeps the pin in uh, if you get something flat you can push that down um, and then you can pull the pin out uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flush cut the pins I'm not going to use And that's all the connectors that aren't going to be used or flush cut. You can see uh, the pins, all the pins are still there. Basically, all I do is take them out, cut the top off, uh, and then uh, put them back in again. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to spend 10 minutes wiring in all my grounds. That's all my ground connections all taken care of. Now, it's very important that you ground all your video signals and all your, your audio signals uh, if you hook up just one ground and um, what you can find is you may get something like jail bars or interference on your picture so you should always ground your video uh, and audio signals inside the scar um, but yeah what I'm going to do now is actually wire in the uh, wires into the scar 
Now, thankfully, uh, these uh, wires that are going in are already attenuated uh, to a TV, which basically means they're at a level the TV is expecting. So we don't need to add any resistance or capacitance to any of the RGB or the sync signal. So they just need to go straight wide into the score. And that's my score head all wired together. Now what I'll do guys is I'll put a, a picture up next uh, showing you uh, the pin out of the actual connector, the pin out of the score and the front pin of the connector uh, and it will show you what goes where and it will help you uh, do this mod if you want to do it yourself. And that's the new score wired in. Let's hook it up and give it a test. And we're all hooked up. Got the new score head going into the actual cable itself now. Let's power on. And we should get our EverDrive N8 menu. And if I press start, and there we go we've got some nice ducktails so yeah there you go guys uh, just a super quick video um, if you like the video please give it a big thumbs up like comment subscribe all the usual stuff and as always i'll catch you on the next one straight into the connector now No jail bars. <laughs> Catch you next time, guys.